don't think it's a question of, of uh, cancelling. I think it's more a question of going with events. I think it's grossly unfair to expect the Ulster Defence Association to show the, the total problem of uh, Northern Ireland. There's other people and there's other parts of the population like who should share their responsibility, but they have chosen to forsake it. Could you be more specific? Well, lately, especially within this past couple of weeks, we've had a terrible upsurge in the uh, provisional IRA's campaign of violence. We've had an, an increase in the bombings. We have had assassins as like of Protestant civilians, RUC, UDR, soldiers. And we've also had the uh, Republican um, political leaders uh, in general starting to stir up muck again. We had us in Curry on television last week who uh, stated their opposition to a plebiscite. But he also stated that it would cause trouble and that after it was all over, we would realise this. It was literally threatening the population of Northern Ireland. It's also trying to deprive quite a, uh, a section of the population of their right to decide the future of Northern Ireland. But there has been a drop in the number of sectarian killings. Would you claim that this was because of your warning? With respect to whether we claim it or not, the facts would speak for themselves. I think a lot of people do put quite a, uh, quite a piece of um, faith and support in the UDA. I say that faith would be grossly undermined if we give our consent to the terrorists to carry on their bombing and their murder campaign completely unabated. Do you feel that there's nothing you can do now to stop the killing? Quite honestly, I think it would be uh, folly of us to continue uh, to try and stop it uh, unless it's like the terrorists uh, had reciprocated and they obviously haven't reciprocated. It seems to say that our terrorists like, are only happy when, it's like, when they're committing violence or murder and that our Republican MPs are only happy when they're talking about injustices, oppression and violence. Take that away from them and they're robbed of, robbed of their vocabulary.